What's going on everyone, Boone here. Welcome back to another episode of Tuesday Tools. This week I'm taking a look at a really cool script called 3D Earth Connections. It's gonna allow us to create these cool 3D animations of map paths that can circle a 3D globe. Now in this particular tutorial, I'm gonna be animating the longest commercial flight in the world, which goes from Singapore to Newark. As always, if you wanna pick up a copy of this script, please follow my link in the video description. Okay, let's get into it. So the product comes with two After Effects project files in our script file here. You have a 4K project file and full HD. I have the full HD project open here. You also need to download Video Copilot's Orb plugin. That's free. I'll leave a link in the video description. Now, what I really, really like about this tool is how easy it is to use. I feel like even if you're a beginner, you're new to After Effects, you could jump in here and be up and running creating some animations in no time. So what we're looking at here is we have the Earth. This is Andrew Kramer, Video Copilot Orb goodness. We have a controller here. and If I open up Effect Controls, we can control the Earth movement and the Earth appearance. Um, really, really simple controls. We'll go into the appearance a bit later. But you can see here, I can manually add keyframes and move the rotation of the Earth around. I have X, Y, and Z controls. I can zoom in on the Earth, zoom out, move it left to right. Now, it's kind of updating quite slowly. That's because it's set at uh, full resolution, and I'm running on a MacBook Pro 2014 here. All right, now let's open up this panel. I'm going to go to File, Scripts, 3D Earth Connections. And the first thing I want to do is add my two locations. So I'm going to be animating a flight path from Singapore to Newark. So first, I'm going to add those two locations. So up here in the location box, I'm going to type in Singapore, hit Enter. And then we have a list here of things to choose from. I'm going to go ahead and double click on Singapore. And when I double click, you can see that the lat and longitude have been added here. Now I'm going to click Add Point. And if you look over here in the comp panel, we can see there's a new layer here. And down here in the timeline, we have our pre-comp. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing for Newark. I'm going to type in Newark, hit Enter. And actually, I could type in Newark Airport and it's probably gonna give us the specific airport. Yeah, look at that. So now I'm gonna double click that, make sure it loads that new location, click add point. And now you can see once again, over on this side of the planet, we have our new uh, layer over there. Wow, I don't know if you can hear my computer revving in the background, but it is cranking. Okay, so I have the two points now. If you look down here in my timeline, I have Newark and Singapore. So now we wanna create a connection. So this is really simple. As I said before, that's what I love about this tool is everything is so damn simple. So we wanna go from Singapore to Newark. The flight um, begins in Singapore. So I'm gonna click on Singapore first and then I'm gonna shift click and hit Newark. So if we wanted to go from Newark to Singapore, I would simply uh, select Newark first. So it's, it's in the order that you select. Then I'm gonna go up here and click on Create Connection. And if I go ahead and full screen, um, this comp down here or the timeline you can see that we have this new shape layer I'm gonna close this and if we zoom in you can see we have start and end markers these are uh, the animation so I'm gonna take this off of full screen and move this over and so as I scrub this this is a start and this is the end and if I go to the middle here you can see that that path is now animating on let me turn the resolution down so we have a little bit more uh, responsive there we go so you can see that animation is now taking place now I obviously want this earth to animate and rotate around so we can see both locations and kind of follow the path around well it's really easy to do with this panel so what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump down here and look at this section here we have continuous and schedule so these are two kind of uh, ways to help us animate the earth I could always just go to the controller here and manually add some keyframes, but why do all that work when you can be lazy and use this panel? Now with continuous, I can obviously have the earth just continuously rotate. I can pick a speed and a direction here and I can start from my selected point. But since we're just doing point to point, I'm gonna go over here to schedule and I'm gonna tick on this automatic Y earth position so it really follows that path. Now we want the animation to start right when the path animation starts. So I'm gonna bring my playhead to the beginning. So we're starting in Singapore. I'm gonna click on Singapore and then I'm gonna to go to selected point. And now if I go back to the controller and hit the U key, you can see that there are now two keyframes added. So we have a keyframe on earth rotation and earth position. 
So now we need to add those in keyframes. So I'm gonna bring my playhead all the way over here. Now this animation of the path is only one second in length and I think that's quite fast. So I'm gonna bring this out to let's say just between four and five seconds. And so that path takes a little bit longer. We don't want it to be you know, super fast. Now I'm gonna bring my playhead back here near the end of the path animation, probably a little bit further out and like right at five seconds. Then I'm gonna select uh, Newark and then click on go to selected point and that's gonna bring us back to Newark and now we have new keyframes for earth rotation and earth position. So now we actually have an animation. Let's take a quick look. All right, so my locations are in place. I have my path animation and my earth animation. Now I'm gonna add some quick labels. So if you look over here in the project panel, I have a labels folder and there's a ton of different labels here, counters, I have an image label. To look at all of these at once to kind of get a bird's eye view, there's a preview comp and you can see here that I have all kinds of different things to work with. So I'm going to grab this first one here, label one. So how we do this is I'm going to open up the label one folder. Now we have a left and a right. So I think for Singapore, let's do a right. So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this Then I'm going to open it up. We just move this around and go forward here and I'm going to type into the text Singapore and then for the left let me just duplicate this one for the left we'll do Newark okay I'll double click here and we'll type in Newark now I have a color control layer here if I click on this and I open the effect controls panel you can see that I can completely customize everything about this, but I'm fine with these particular colors. So now I'm gonna go back to my project here. I'm gonna close these two comps, and here's how we can add our labels. So first, we wanna add Singapore. So Singapore is this one here. I'm gonna drag this in on top of our Singapore location, and you can see on the, on the label layer, we can see in where the marker is, this is where our animation ends. So, we can see that the label is animating on, but it's not connected to the location. So the way we can take care of that is simply grab our label layer and then control click and, or command click and select your location, which is Singapore. And then right up here, you have a button to connect selected label to selected point. I'm gonna click on that. Now it's ready to go. And of course, this animation is gonna start right at the head of uh, where the layer is starting. So. see that that starts there that's looking fine now we're going to do the same thing for our Newark label I'm going to go add this and we want this to animate on right when the location uh, the path hits so I'm going to drag the label layer and have it animate on right when it clicks here and I need to connect these two so I'm going to shift click both of these connect label to point and there we have it now our labels are connected Okay, so I have this animation pretty much finished here and it was super simple to create, but what I really like about this is now I have all these ways to customize this animation and once again, it's super simple to customize. So for example, let's say I don't like these, uh, these pink pins here. Well, I can completely customize these pins. So I'm gonna grab both locations and I'm gonna go over here and there's a selected pin style. I can click on this and here I have nine different presets and I can even create my own custom pin if I want. But once again, I'm lazy, I don't wanna do that. So let's just go and click on Finder and then click OK and that's gonna automatically change these and this particular one has an animation in. So this one animates in, looks nice. Let's go look at the other one. Now this one's already in place, so let's say we want it to animate in when the line connects, so I'm gonna bring that here, and then I'm gonna simply bring this Newark label and drag it over. And now it should animate on with the label. Okay, so now I've got this fancy animation. Let's say I send it off to my client, and then all of a sudden I get an email back and some pilot saw it and said, hey, that's not the right flight path. The flight path actually goes over the North Pole or yada, yada, yada. So what we can do with that so I can go over and select the path layer. I'm gonna hit R for rotation, and now I can grab that X rotation, and we can just move that path 
to wherever we want it. Let's say we want it to go right over that path there, straight over the North Pole, kind of North Polish. There we go. And now we can see our animation still looks nice and fancy, still in frame. Also, if I click on the path layer and I open up the effect controls panel, you'll notice that I have a bunch of customization options here. So if I open up solid line, you can see I can change the color of the path, the stroke width, I can turn the opacity down, I can change this into a dotted line um, if I want. I can customize all the aspects of that dotted line. And one other cool thing is I can actually enable a jumping line. So let's say I'm going from location to location. I can enable this and that's basically going to bring that path back around and finish it. You can see as I scrub here and scrub, scrub, scrub. Let's see where it is. There we go. You can see here that it's basically trimming the end of that. Super cool. And I can offset the time of that right here. So that's just another fancy customization option. Now, for the last feature, I want to show you. If I go over to controller here and we look at Earth Appearance, we just have a plethora of options. So you can see I can turn the clouds on and off. I can adjust the, adjust the opacity of the clouds, haze. I can add a custom background image, turn off those pesky city lights if I want. And the other really cool thing is we have Earth Style here. Now, there are five different Earth Styles. So if I click on here and hit 2 and switch the values, you're going to see that it's going to jump to a totally different map style here. And now the thing about this is it has a slider, but don't use the slider. You need to use these absolute values. So we have an old map. We have watercolor, a vector map, and good old dots. Now one other really cool feature you have in this tool is the ability to highlight countries and even the 50 states. So let's say as soon as our path animates to Newark, we want the entire United States to kind of highlight in a color. So I can go over here, it says country to highlight. I'm going to just type in United States. And with this selected, I can select on. But now be careful, when, wherever your playhead is located, that is where the animation will start. So I want to make sure right as the path ends here, let's say I want it to highlight on here. So now I just click that on button. And we have a color here, it's going to be red. And if we look now, it highlights on like that. Now, I don't want it to be this solid color. So what we can do is I can go over to the controller here and Earth Appearance. We actually have a country's highlight opacity. Let's turn that down to like 30%. And that's looking pretty good. I could change the color if I want, um, make it like a green or something. Uh, that's fine, the red was fine. Now let's take a look at this animation. Okay, so very cool. Now, there's a ton of cool animations that you can create with this tool. I really suggest that you check it out. If you like the tutorial, be sure to hit that thumbs up button, leave me a comment down there, subscribe to the channel, and if you wanna pick up a copy of this script, just follow the link in the video description. Also, this is the same creator from the map route generator that I reviewed last month. Another very cool tool, so be sure to go check that out, and I will see you next week.